Morning, this is Mr. William, West Virginia. It's the 14th day of October to Sunday. I'll be getting ready for church here in a little bit. Uh, as I woke this morning, God was speaking to me about uh, the Lord's Prayer. And I want to read it to you, and then I want to read it to you. First in His way, and then in our way. Okay? Um, and, and the whole Lord's Prayer thing came from the fact that the disciples wanted to know how to pray. So the Lord said, okay, I'll show you how to pray. And he says, after this matter, therefore... Pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now when I woke up, the Lord started showing me how most of us pray it. And it would go more like this. Our Father, which is, which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Holy is your name. My kingdom come. My will be done on earth, not like it's done in heaven. Don't worry about giving daily bread. We got it. And don't worry about forgiving our debts because we don't think we're doing anything wrong. And we're not going to forgive anyone else. And don't worry about leading us or not leading us into temptation because we kind of like it. And as far as the evil, we kind of like that too. So don't worry about delivering us from it. I know that your kingdom is the kingdom. And we know that it's the power and it's the glory. But honestly, we don't care. That's basically the way most of the world thinks. And I would say that at times a lot of us even that walk this thing out kind of fall into this. Because we kind of get to where we're, we get overcome by what's going on in the world. And we kind of get overcome with our own wants and our own needs and our own loves and we forget that God has a way of doing things and you can do it your way that's the really unbelievable thing about God is that he gives us freedom of choice he gives us uh, a free will um, God is pro-choice but he's also pro-life he gives us the choice to do whatever it is we want to do but there are consequences with the choices. So I would caution you, warn you, and encourage you. God loves us, but he doesn't love to see us go off the path, follow our own way, and forget about him. All right? Hey, I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. That's why I'm speaking to you this morning. Okay? Shalom.